welcome back to another video with LT Gaming. My name is Tom and just want to say thanks for the great support on the previous colonization video and uh, if um, if you guys are enjoying the content make sure to like, uh, comment and subscribe as it's really helping us and we're growing super quick right now. So without further ado let's jump back in to our Dutch Viceroy attempt. Um, so we have our first town. Uh, we're shaping up to get our second town. Um, so I'm just gonna do, 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 do. get a little bit acquainted uh, back with what we're doing here. Ideally, this guy will join uh, as a full-time lumber lumberjack but for now we will just have to pass his turn I have really not got this music out of my head since I started playing it um, playing this game again <laughs> recently uh, let's just no, where's my bloody ship alright it's coming back I'm about to do some trading that makes sense. Let's visit our friends, the Incas. Of course, they're silver miners. No telling me about nearby lands. Just have to keep a little bit of a wary eye on our friends, the French down there. And we got the Spanish there as well. Right, if everything's gone correctly here, we will be able to do another trade for our friends, the Arawak. Just maneuver around our Incan buddies. Alright, we're gonna trade. We're we'll just ignore the skulls they have hanging. Ooh, that's a little. a little cheaper than normal. Ooh, alright, I'll push it one more. Alright. That's good. Nine, nine thirty-six. In my experience, trading with them for anything, okay, it was never mind. They don't really want to trade any of their goods to me. All right, this is the location of Fort Nassau. Um, we can think of something a little bit more. Inventive Fort uh, Fort LT. Obviously, everything is around the LT theme. As we grow our empire, let's. Da, 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 what do we want to get, Mon? I want this to be. Production city predominantly. Um, I think this is depletable, so I don't want to have a farmer basically <laughs> uh, building, uh, mining the ore, as that will, um, you know, be less optimal, let's say. There is no wood here, but if I can. Um, Get this lumberjack incorporated into uh, new LT town. He should be able to provide enough lumber for both towns. Therefore, I don't have to double up on lumber production. Uh, uh, Luke was saying to me, actually, he was surprised when I built the town to uh, trade in the treasure chest that I found, or the treasure trove rather. Um, so that is a handy trick for anyone who is... Let's... Alright, well, we won't push this too far, we'll just go with 650, nothing right now, thank you. It's, you don't want to haggle whatsoever. Um, so we're still getting a good return on the trade goods, it's 3 to 1. Um, Tobacco, though, I'm getting more kind of uh, 
more total gold back, it is uh, actually less favorable than this. They're making more money on this one, on the trade goods. So I'm going to keep that in mind. For what reason exactly? I don't know. Um, so we got the lumber mill, but we're going to run out of lumber. So we will do a bit of a switcheroo. We'll get you producing 18 lumber and we'll kick this gun back in. And you, sir, will head out and be a colonist. All right, we can continue our path northwards. We got a good whack of gold going. I'm really not a fan of these Spanish hanging around here. Let's just have a little think here where I want to put these guys. All right, I'll, I'll go to new LT time for now. I hope that's not a Dragoon on there because that would be quite alarming. All right. So the plan is I need to uh, get some lumber here, get a fishing dock so I can start to support a few more people. This town, immediate plans is to get the lumber mill sorted, so higher production, and look to get stockade next. I do need a bit more protection, particularly with the Europeans lurking around. I will pick up some, possibly some artillery, well, 44 from a chief of a tribe. Thank you very much, sir. Um, the Tupai alarm is going to take effect at some point. I can't really do much with this dude as of yet. Don't want these Spaniards to uh, cause me any hassle. So we will load up the merchantman. Uh, in fact, we're going to 4LT. Why not? We'll pick up some. They're under threat from the English. Okay. Okay. I will grab another merchantman. And bring right, this is gonna be a pure defense run. We want to start our armament process. Uh, you know, it's the arms race against the king. As if we... Oh, no, wrong screen. Go have a little gander at what he is doing. I think it's... Uh, oh my God, I haven't looked at this in years. Uh, content of Congress. Right. So this is what we got to contend with. Jesus Christ. That's, that is a lot. He's a lot of uh, man of war as well. So... We really need to be hot on producing some military. I've been a little lax, I think. Oh, 576. Thank you very much, Incans. And also the Europeans will be opportunistic as well. They'll definitely uh, leap on me if they sense my military is, or detect my military is weak. I'm a bit alarmed about the English alarm here. It's the main trading partners of the Arawak right now. Um, but I need to send this scout down here north and meet the Aztec. And we will then begin trading with them, hopefully. We'll head to this little uh, rumor here. I'm utterly 
petrified that we're gonna be completely <laughs> uh, invaded at any point. Um, all right, we've already got 82 lumber. Maybe we go like this. Uh, what, he disappeared? Let's take him to there. I know this is an optimal, but no, 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 mate. You go there. And you go there. So we're, we're over dependent on the crown in that scenario, so it's kind of pointless to. If you, uh, just for you who don't know, if you get too many colonists and you have too low sentiment of independence, you get penalties to all your production. That's what I'm trying to avoid. But for now, we'll just do one more uh, production run of lumber, and then we'll switch over. All right, new LT town. Jamestown, eh? Oh, I hope they don't start attacking this. This would be very unfortunate. Maybe I can arm them. <laughs> that always worked out for everyone who's used this strategy in the past. The enemy, the enemy of my enemy, I will, you know, give them weapons. That seems like a great idea. Alright, Mr. Colonist, you are back in production. And uh, Mr. Lumberjack, you're back to being outside the colony. <laughs> Sorry about that. 280, that's that's not to be sniffed at. I'm not gonna lie. They're sugar planters. Why? <laughs> what an absolute shocker. So, the dream I have, well, the French are meandering their way up as well, so that's somewhat alarming. Uh, prices remain relatively stable, thanks to me being the Dutch here. Um, obviously, we just have criminals and servants available, which is absolutely great. Uh, da, da, da. I could really use some specialists, but instead I will settle for giving these guys some tools. And I think I will do a bigger trade run. So we go tobacco, trade goods, and tobacco, and trade goods. So we're starting to get squeezed on the margins there. I'll send them back without picking up the pioneer. This guy will have to pick that up next round. Next run, rather. All right, we got four cannon, or artillery rather. I love that sound. Let's make two of them sentry though. Seven coats. Well, got full blown uh, production cycles just off the two pie. Okie dokie. I, this is probably my favorite tune. Uh, and we'll send this guy to 4LT. And just arm up there. Okay, 
we will begin our trading with the uh, Arawak. We expect it to be very profitable. Hopefully I can break five grand. I'm sure I, if I worked it out, I could figure this out, but a bit too lazy. All right, let's just load up on everything else they gave me and head to Amsterdam. Really would like it. This guy became a pro uh, fisherman. That doesn't seem to be happening as of yet. Seven coats. I mean, must be. Oh, God damn you! Six percent tax. Okay. Why are they doing? Ongoing war with Denmark. I live in Denmark, so that's somewhat alarming. All right, beautiful. All right, tobacco. Ooh, that's a good starting price. We go one, go two. All right, I'll take one grand. That's good. That's good. What what are you offering for ore? Right, trades for six hundred a ton for a hundred tons. So a quarter of six hundred is. It is. Give me 49. Ah. Oh, no. <laughs> Alright. No worries. We know they like don't like to trade back. Hopefully I can get the founding father uh, who... Ready for some inspirational independence tune. There we go. Alright, we get 100 trade goods. Oh, that's a terrible price. We'll go one. We'll go two. Ooh, dare I do three? Three! Oh, alright. <laughs> I'm literally clenching up as I do this. I've, like, on easy setting, you can push it to like three grand. But I know on Viceroy, they're a lot less forgiving. Um, but if you play on Discover, you can literally get, I think, three grand for tobacco and 1500 for trade goods. That is not possible on Viceroy. This is an all time classic. Alright, we're, we're four or five. This is good. We will bring this dude back to begin uh, begin the process of improving the other colony. Um, however, we are very short of food in one colony, so I'm thinking. I think fishermen are what one grand. Also need my carpenters, but we'll go fishermen. It, it's small pain, but big gain. Uh, no, let's remain in port for a second, and we will bless this man. Then do the cross right, but whatever. All right, get some tobacco. Ooh, that is bad starting price. Take, I, I don't want to risk more than three, uh, so we'll do that. It brings me back to four or four, so I'm happy. Ideally, I'd start making my own tobacco uh, if I get a colony up north. Um, off the rumors, okay. are imminently about to get our lumber mill. Two turns. I would really uh, hope that this guy becomes an expert fisherman soon. As I kind of need them everywhere. Uh, I will get uh, I think with the school I can start teaching it. 
got some muskets going up. Okay, I haven't bought any muskets yet, but... Uh, oh, that is awful. Alright, gratefully accept five berries. Unhappily accept. Atmospheric native music going on. Alright, we'll use this river to accelerate our way up to the Aztec. Uh, next turn, next turn. Uh, the English. Hey! Okay, we are producing a decent amount of hammers what uh, expert would produce now. Uh, oh, this is the schoolhouse. I need to remember how that works. To begin educating your citizenry, it can be built when it's four. Fishermen. Okay. Fishermen are key to my strategy, so I do need to do this very soon. I don't want to be buying endless fishermen uh, to support everything. But in the interim period, before I begin my mass fisherman production, I do need a warehouse and a. Let me think. A stockade. I do need to up my defense a bit. We will go with the schoolhouse first. Because I've got an expert fisherman coming in. The sooner I can start getting a lot of food, the more I can get uh, drive other production. So I've gone back completely on what I said during the... <laughs> that whole conversation there. Okay, let's uh, go this way. Boop, boop, boop. Up the river. 160 gold minted. Uh, we need to drop at 4 LT first. I I'm tempted to get a privateer as well to load these ship up. Should I do it? I never knew if privateers are actually worth it. They have eight combat, I believe the frigate has 16. Obviously that requires me to declare war on people. Uh, the privateer is fully, but I think if I buy a privateer, they buy a privateer. Right, we're doing, why not? Steady as she goes. Might as well invest our gold in attacking English ships. What's uh, what's the Caribbean without a few pirates? Okay, I do need to plow this field, so I should remember that. Oh, the English are being a little aggressive there. They purchase a merchantman. Alright, let's load this guy up. But let's not do lumber because that's a bit counterintuitive. Uh, and back to the Netherlands. Okie doke. Uh, I don't think I hit this town up with a scout, but maybe I should. They can be valuable, but. Mr. Fisherman, you go sentry. 
Let's we're, we're trying to do a bit of placating here. I don't want to be enemies of these guys. I hope they're just gonna trade with our friends the Arawak here. Curiosity, excellent. Curiosity is an anger or a hatred, so I'll settle for that. All right, journey northwards, my. Fr ah. All right, whatever. We'll, we'll hit up that one time first, or city out there. I think they're called. Okey doke. All right, so we've got the schoolhouse under construction. Should I buy it? <laughs> to work, I just have to pop the fisherman in. And then he will teach my free colonists. Alright, we're buying it. Reason being, I think I need to push uh, production a bit more. Uh, as right now, like my plan's a little behind, I think, schedule. So I want to really get this up and producing tons of horses. Um, and right now, I'm all over the place. Alright, let's, let's go exploring tentatively. We have Plymouth. One thing I love about this game is when ships have to maneuver around you. They they have to do an evasion roll or something like that. I if I remember right. Hey. All right. I didn't think this through. <laughs> We're starving. Um, well, we can start for a little bit. Hopefully he'll become an expert in the time before we starve to death. Meanwhile. Meanwhile. Uh, I do think I need to push some security. Uh, so I will build a stockade. As the French are up by me. Maybe they'll be threatening. Maybe they won't. But let's not take that risk. Uh, we'll just load this dude up with whatever we have here. Head out over to 4 LT. Alright, where did that merchantman go? Because I really dislike being evaded. I think he's in Jamestown. So my best bet to catch him would be to... I think stay here. We'll see. If he tries to jump out or grab. Ah, oh, what? I was easily evaded. <laughs> oh my god, the Spanish are. Yeah, just doing what the Spanish did. <laughs> Jesus. Um, Okie doke. So, we need to do a round of trading. Now our margins are getting thinner though. A bit a bit tight on funds. And comfortably tight. Thank you, Incans, for making this as difficult as possible. We'll load up both of that. And off to the Netherlands we go. Sure, I, I was certain there was like an evasion thing. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, I, I think forts do it as well, maybe? I could swear ships did it. But again, it's been a long time since I played. 
Probably shouldn't have gone in up voice right, but whatever. Um, Alright, I hope this was worth the trek down. <sighs> okay. Whatever. Alright, we're just gonna hang out here. I'll probably come back here, right? So we'll... Oh, beautiful. Okay, that this evasion thing is totally in my head. Okay, French. Maybe it was on the easier difficulties that I'm thinking. Um, can you? The, the converts are great. I think they have uh, quite good production levels. Let me. Is that, can I get kind of like a synopsis? There you go. Yeah. Well, wow, that that doesn't help me at all. I know they produce better than your average colonist. It's not as much as an expert, but... So, we'll just build a little stockpile of food. Um, and hopefully the Arawak still want to trade with me. I do not appreciate the French being here. Um, kindly leave, uh, French. We wish you no trouble. Clearly, we hate the English. Ooh, whoa. <gasps> so sorry. Oh dear. That is makes me feel a little bad. To sink a ship is actually quite difficult. Um, hey, but you know, it's the name of the game in the the colonies. It's a harsh existence. Uh, I won't buy anything because I'm kind of short on funds, so I'll just head back. <gasps> okay. So my colonist who was in the hills is the dude who became a master fisherman. That makes sense, of course. He, he was doing night school and it was all good. No problem. Alright. Twelfth fish is beautiful. Um, I can now support having... Um, I think... I don't want to turn the rest of them into fishermen just yet. But I will pop in the lumberjack as he's going to provide lumber for both colonies. But I think if I keep him there, like they're all going to end up fishermen pretty quickly. So I need to be strategic about when I do this. So for now, just make plenty of fish. Um, so I will try to get some horses in next, and uh, once we can get the stockade, the warehouse, and the stable, oh dear, trade with village, uh, tobacco, oh that's a good price, that's what we like to see, let's go with that, three, oh, 1200, that is, uh, nothing right now, thank you. Thank you, kind sirs. I mean, I kind of want the French. <laughs> uh, what's the price? That's five. That's four hundred. That's pretty good haul. I mean, we might as well sell back. Kind of wish I haven't. Like, I hope the English don't reciprocate too much now. Trade goods. It's a bad price, not gonna lie. Uh, we'll just stick with the, the secure three. Why wow, that is not good. Alright, we can, uh, yeah, we're not making much profit on the trade goods anymore. But hopefully we bump into some of our Aztec friends.
Alright, we will sell those for 376 minus tax. Not a huge fan of paying tax, but whatever. Um, Alright, we'll keep the privateer free of goods. Uh, and let's just go trade with village. We're back to tobacco. We're starting high. I like this. We've turned over a leaf. We'll get better prices. I'll take 1100. I don't have the, the balls to push it to uh, four barter attempts. Go to new LT town, not Fort LT. Ten furs, beautiful, thank you. Two pie friends. A grateful attitude. <laughs> Stamp act, okay. Eight percent. I'll take the the 14, but I really need some. Uh... All right, let's just focus on our bartering for now. 700. That that's not too shabby at all. all right, but the moment we get the stockade, I'm gonna be a bit more comfortable. Let's just. Frenchies are not welcome. Oh my god, the Iroquois are just uh, not the Iroquois, the Spanish are just worse, man. Um, let me have a little think here. I just want to explore over here. Barbados, okay. The English are really getting into the whole Pirates of the Caribbean thing here. Okay, did we have a meeting with the English? The French or somebody? No, apparently not. Let's, uh, let's go pick on the Spanish, because I mean, they're straight up arseholes right now. Oh, there's the merchant, I could have called him, damn it. Maybe not, maybe not. It's just me or there's the, like an imminent attack coming in. How long till I get this stockade? Because I'm getting quite uneasy. Two turns. Alright, so what we will do... Take the 94 lumber. We will take the sugar and the ore. And let's just do some coats as well. And we'll head to 4 LT and give them the lumber. So we can think about some production. I will actually start producing the dogs straight away uh, to sacrifice ore. But the sooner I can get the dogs produced, what, how much did I buy them? 1300. Oh god, the Spanish are. Wow, they built a lot of. Stuff. Holy crap. Benjamin Franklin. Alright, I think that will mean less tax increases, uh, if I remembered rightly. What am I looking at here? Nine lumber. Jeez. Take 
friends. Do, 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 do. Hello, my Aztec buddies. All right. We can pick up some more furs. All two of them. And head to the Netherlands. Okie doke. We are ready for the stockade to be built. It's looking good, looking strong. All right. Let's F these guys up. Damn it. Ah, right, there you go. There's the evasion roll thingy, Majigi. <laughs> That's the technical term. All right, Sura de la Sa. Uh, not too sure about that one. That can be a bit of a double-edged sword if I get in a war. Uh, that, that's where they get, you get three pop and you get three stockade. That is great, but not really useful right now. I think pen is the way to go. Actually, all right. We're gonna go Minnet, Minuet, or whatever his name is. Peter Minnet. Very specific reason we want to build up by the Aztecs for a trading city with their capital. All right, we have a stockade. I didn't hear the cheer, but whatever. Santa Domingo, total dump. We will by the main area. Did I go here? A master Weavers. Okay. 480. Respectable. Alright, let's F up this caravel. <gasps> I always remember being really rare to sink ships. I... Anyway, whatever, whatever. Oh, three, it's three cargo. All right, they have a lot of gold. How many ships do they have? All right, whatever, let's, let's just pop here. They'll be hampered because they're cargo. All right, we will take 76 first. 16 ore. Damaged. I'll take it. My sneaky attacks have paid off. French are really encroaching on my territory. I might have to have a little word. Say, listen, guys. Um, <gasps> ore miners, the dream. All right, uh, wait, what am I doing here? My word, arming these people is expensive. <laughs> Probably arming criminals is a terrible idea, let's be honest. Do I want to buy horses yet? All right, let's let's do this too. There, there, there is a thread of logic here. So, what time? Okey doke. turn. Oh, my Aztec friends. This is going to be landlocked, so that's not good. All right, and Mr. Privateer, you take your booty back to uh, Thingy Majiggy. That's the what we call it here in the, the new world. 
Why is the price of muskets going up so much? Jesus Christ. I did, yeah, I was just checking. I did buy cannon, right? Because I do not like the look of this. Dear. They're not gonna attack my Aztec friends, are they? Silver miners. What? That's not very. <laughs> wow, this this is getting turned into a bit of a powder keg. Um, and I think on that note, I will uh, end today's video there. Uh, it's still getting a little late here in Denmark. But uh, thank you so much, guys, for uh, watching, uh, commenting, and all the feedback we've been getting is great. Um, yeah, just uh, if you're enjoying what we do, subscribe, as it is helping us grow so quickly, and uh, we're super appreciative. I make sure I save the bloody game. Um, and yeah, thank you, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.